Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Exciting, different type of video tonight. So we went dumpster diving in a different area, a good distance from where we usually dumpster dive at, only because the dumpsters have been relatively empty the past couple of days. But we came across a shopping center and it was actually pretty interesting. There is a store there that possibly looks like they sell like resale returns of Amazon items. I don't know if it's like pallets. I don't know like the whole shebang of all of that, but we decided to swing to the back. And we found some stuff so we didn't feel comfortable enough yet to film directly at the dumpster like we usually do only because it is a new area so there is quite a few things in there there is some stuff that is sealed in boxes i'm not 100 percent sure if it's missing pieces broken i don't really care because i'm actually really excited to see what's in here and maybe it could be a new dumpster diving spot i did notice that there is some boxes and then there were some loose things so First up is this like vegetable memory game for like little kids it looks like. It is completely sealed it looks like. Um, it says right here, wooden fun carrots harvest toy. Gifts for kids three years old. So, okay, that's actually pretty neat and it is in there. I'm not gonna break the seal, but we also have a pack of razors. You see, that's usually like an Amazon return sticker. So we got a pack of razors. We have some sort of wood tray, which is actually pretty nice. Put some car keys or something in it. Um, and here, I threw some stuff in here. We actually have a Ed Hardy Hollywood bronze tanning lotion. So it's got the order right here. And it's just a tanning lotion, which looks like it is sealed as well right here so that's actually really nice i know their tanning lotions are pretty pricey as well and here we have a pack of like kitchen drawer handles i guess you could say so I'm not really sure how many is in here but if it's maybe it came like in a bigger pack maybe it's missing some i'm not 100 percent sure but those are pretty nice all right so in this box it is actually ripped a little bit. So I'm gonna just try to see if I can pop this off. There we go. All right, so it looks like we got some wall sconces in here. So, oh, this is actually plastic. So that's like a little plastic cover. Um, it's got a little battery operated candle. So there's one right here. I don't know, maybe, is that supposed to be like that? Or maybe that's like part of the plastic cover? I think it's 
Oh yeah, it's got a little film on it. Okay, so there is two in here. I want to thank Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Care Of is a subscription-based service that ships high-quality vitamins, supplements, and powders to your home every month. Made of good-for-you clean ingredients that are backed by the latest science and research so you can feel good about what you're putting into your body. Simply complete a quiz that asks you questions about your health goals, diets, and lifestyle, and it will help select their recommended vitamins and supplements for your needs. I love the fact that the vitamins come sealed for each day and how they also have cute little quotes on the packaging as well. I love the fact that it's packaged like this so I won't have to worry about needing a huge collection of bottles on my counter. You also get a booklet explaining the vitamins and supplements you are taking. Since I've been taken care of, I've noticed a difference in my skin and overall feeling. I'm taking vitamins to help my energy, mood, metabolism, skin, and hair. I highly recommend checking out Care Of if you're looking for some help with evolving your health lifestyle. I'll be sure to leave a link in my description box to Care Of and also a coupon code where you'll get 50% off your first order. Thank you again to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Next up, this looks like it might be a rug. Like look at that, it says ready, ready to ship on it. So that's actually interesting. So I might have to take my gloves off for this. <clears throat> that's a really small rug <laughs> i mean what do you do with that I, what do you what do you do with it 18 oh it's a sample there you go it's a sample that's why but hey you could still use this maybe put the dog bowls on it there you go that could be their new little thing right there i didn't know they sold samples oh look so there's all the different rugs on there and this is the uh, uh lay 03 so it'd be that one right here oh um, right here there's another one same thing ready to ship this looks like it might be a cat tunnel it is it's a cat tunnel i'm kind of scared to like open this because it's probably just gonna like smack me across the face oh Okay. Oh, it's right there. But yeah, look, it's a little, you would unhook that, but it would be like a little cat tunnel and it's got like a little ball. It's got places where they can like hop inside. It looks like maybe there might've been something that covered that too, but that's, that's cute because I know these can be like pretty expensive if you were to get them at other stores. So let me try to close this back up because I don't want to it to like randomly pop open while we're filming because knowing me it's gonna smack me across the face this box is an automatic chicken coop door programmable timer adjustable light sensor manual override mode extra hours of sleep so i guess you keep your chickens locked up when you don't want them out so that's actually different oh yeah it's in there oh yeah you can definitely tell it's been used it's kind of rusty a little bit but looks like you literally just screw in and it lifts up yeah it lifts up see so it would pull up this oh there we go so it open and close that's actually pretty neat like honestly you wouldn't even need to use it directly for chickens maybe you want to add it to your door to let your small dogs out at certain times of day i'm not 100 sure but um that's that's probably pricey does it work i don't know we don't have chickens so i'll ask my friend that has chickens if it works <laughs> this chiru i think that's how you spell it chiru share our story with you so return sticker again solar outdoor buddha i'm assuming this is I said I don't know if some of this stuff is broken or not I'm probably just gonna pull it out here honestly I hate when these like crumble apart because they're just gonna stick to it okay let's see oh gosh okay so it's literally all over it um, it looks like it's okay Minus the fact that all these things are all over it. Let's see. Can I get it off? Oh, there you go. 
I feel like it's just popping back on there. I'm trying to clear it up for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so you get the point. So it's got a little like flower, it looks like maybe like a little lotus flower that lights up at night. And it looks like it might be okay. Yeah, so there's a little solar panel right there. You would just have to make sure that where you set it at, it gets like good lighting right there. But okay, we got a little Buddha. Next up, we have a quartz clock movement. Oh, these are really nice for if you ever find like clocks and you know, it might have like broken hands or a broken mechanism. These are actually pretty expensive as well. So it's got the little mechanism, the hands, the hands are kind of bent, but you could just easily re-bend that. So that's actually pretty nice. And it has the instructions on how to fix it right there. This was what I was really excited about look how cool this is so it's like a little post office this looks like it might have been like bent or something like that you can stick your little mail in there you open it up you get your mail or you can use it for decoration too but what i like about it is that i guess it's supposed to look like super old and like distressed looking but this is pretty nice too and it's a nice metal material so we got a few more boxes left this is actually pretty exciting not a lot of stuff but it's pretty cool we have a high frequency machine four in one portable high frequency machine it says professional high something wand there's a return sticker on that up oh, yep look do you see how it's missing something darn that actually looked pretty neat so here's like some of the pieces right here. There's one, there's another one. This honestly reminds me of like one of those, it's like to activate like nerves and stuff like that. So it would be hooked to obviously a mechanism that would put like low dose shocks, kind of like almost like a type of like shock therapy. This is what it reminds me of because this is what it kind of looks like, so bummer that it's missing um one of the pieces here and it looks like the actual mechanism itself so dang right here this is a wall door mount pot lid organizer two pieces holds different type of lids six lids capacity easy to install return sticker there let's see are they in there yeah they're in there look still sealed and here's a little clips that you would attach to your cabinet and they clip in just like that it's got the instructions if you want to screw it you do have the option to screw it as well so okay so that, that's pretty nice I'm not really sure what this is something metal garden something porch ornament gift it says on the sticker so let's see what this porch ornament gift is. Oh, oh, look at that. that I see, I see flowers. Oh my gosh, it's a rain boot. Oh, get out. That's cute. If I can get it out. <laughs> it's kind of like really wrapped up in there. Oh, so you hang it that's cool look it's like a little rain boot it's a little bent up but just re-bend it honestly and it's got a little ladybug oh it's rain boots that's cute so you could just like hang it on your wall outside or your porch your deck really anything you can even probably like stake it into the ground because these are actually pretty sharp and it is made of metal okay so this says I mean, I don't know what this says. It just says return. It's got the label over that. It could be broken. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't really say. It just, it does say up, fragile, and rainproof. So we'll find out what it is. Um, I don't know what it is. Something acrylic, that's all I know. 
Let's see. Is it like an organizer? Looks like it might have been like maybe a display shelf of some sort. I'm not really sure. Obviously you hang it. Maybe you put like towels in it, like hand towels, washcloths. I mean, it's, it is broken right here. I, I can just easily pop some hot glue right there in that corner. That's a lid. It looks like that's removable. Is there anything in there? Just, just a couple screws are in there, but um, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's, I'm thinking maybe you put like towels and stuff like that and you just, just grab it. I don't know. All right last box I'm thinking this might be I was going to say I'm thinking it might be a sh shelf but it says slotted shelf on the box don't mind me <laughs> alright so let me see if I can get this open okay alright So we got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. And it looks like we got the bag right here. So obviously this is the top. Might as well just see if we have all the pieces. It just pops on like that. Yeah, it'd probably be better if I did it like this. All right, so we got the shelf put together so far. It's looking good. Um, I did notice that there is wheels that just literally pop on here. So that's actually really neat. So it's a little rolling cart, like a nice little slim rolling cart. This would be like perfect, like in a bathroom. Maybe you want to stick it for like crafts. You could put like baby stuff in there, diapers and stuff like that. So, okay. Let's see. Pretty nice. I mean, it's a little wobbly. I did notice that it also comes with like these little clips. So clips like this, I'm assuming. So you could just like slide it on there. Got another one. Yeah, so it's got four little clips. You can't slide it there, so it's got to slide on the sides right here, but you can hang stuff on there, so pretty neat. All right, guys, so a nice little neat score. Like I said, this place is a good distance from us, so I'm not sure how many times we're going to be able to come up here, but if we're going to keep finding stuff like this, we might have to make it a once-a-week trip, but found some pretty neat things. Music